This video offers a demonstration of using scripts from a command line tool to validate documents. The validate script is located in the Oxygen installation directory inside the scripts folder along with the other supported scripts. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've added a folder named work-sbc inside that scripts folder and it contains the sample files I'll use. In my command line window, I've already navigated to the scripts folder. The script I'm demonstrating is validate and I can use the help option to display details about the script and its supported options. The first option is the only mandatory one. It specifies the path to the file or directory to validate. And then you can see that there are various optional options and there are some additional notes to help you with some of them. I'll start by using the script in its most simple form. I only specified the path to a directory within my sample folder. I didn't specify a schema to validate against or a validation scenario to apply and no optional arguments. It simply instructs the engine to use the default settings to validate all the files in the specified folder. After I execute the command and after the validation completes, you see that a report is displayed in the console. I'll scroll up and then back down to show you that it lists details for each problem, including information about the file, the schema, scenario name, the type of document, description of the problem, and more. That report was displayed in the default text format, but you can use the RFT option to display the report in XML, JSON, or HTML format. I'll choose XML for the next example, and you can see that the report is now in XML format without indentation. Of course, it would be easier to read and work with if it were opened in a specialized XML editor. So instead of displaying it in the console, I'll use the RF option to send the results to an XML file located in a specified path. Then I can locate that XML file in the folder I specified and open it in Oxygen Specialized XML Editor. And I'll click the Format and Indent Toolbar button to make it look nicer. To make the report even easier to read, using the HTML format might be better. So I'll specify HTML for the RFT option and the path for an HTML file using the RF option. Then I'll locate that HTML file and open it in my default browser. There is a summary at the beginning, then each validation problem that was found is listed group by file with information such as the description of the problem, its severity, the name of the validation engine, the scenario name, and the location of the problem within the validated document. Next, I'll use the S option to specify the path to a schema to validate a specific JSON document against. I'll open this report in the browser. It found four problems, and this time you see that it lists the schema file that was used in the validation. If you want to use more than one schema to validate against within a single script, you can configure a validation scenario in Oxygen with multiple validation units. You can see that I have already configured one called library and it has two validation units, one for a JSON schema and one for a Schematron schema. Once configured, you would then go to options and select export global validation scenarios, then save it. Then you can reference the exported scenarios file in the script. Back in the command line, I'll display the help page again and I'll be using the SN and SF options to specify the name of the validation scenario and the path to the scenarios file. My command would look like this, and I'll open this report file in the browser. This time it found five problems instead of four. I'll scroll down and you can see that in addition to the problems found by the JSON validator engine, there's also a problem that was found by the Schematron engine. You can also use the SN option without specifying a scenarios file using the SF option. This particular use case is explained in the notes in the help page. In this case, it searches through the validation scenarios defined in the associations made in Oxygen's document type association dialog box. For example, if I want to validate data files by applying the default validation scenario defined for that type of document, I would specify data using the SN option without using the SF option. 
I'll open that report in the browser and you can see that the engine name is DITA validation, the scenario name is DITA, and the document type is DITA 2.x. Along with Oxygen's default scenarios associated through the document type associations, you can also add custom ones that you can use in the script. In this next example of a command, I specify three scenarios. The default DITA scenario along with two custom ones named DITA.SCH and DITA.TAB that would be associated with the DITA file type in the doc type associations dialog box. I won't execute the command because those associations don't exist. I'm just showing you as an example. But it would apply all three scenarios to validate the files in the specified folder. Conversely, you can specify the path to a validation scenarios file using the SF option and not use an SN option to specify the scenario name. So in my next example, I specify a DITA file named main.DITA as the file to validate, and I use the SF option to specify the path to a project file with an XPR file extension. Now if validation scenario associations for that specified file are found in the XPR file, then those scenarios are applied. Otherwise, the validation first considers the schema associations declared directly in the file, if any exist, or default oxygen validation scenarios are applied in accordance with the document type. I'll open the resulting report in the browser and you can see the name of the scenario that was applied and the schema that was validated against. I'll go back to the help page because I want to point out that there are some filtering options that can be applied. The IF option can be used to only validate the files that match the specified pattern. The EF option can be used to exclude files that match the specified pattern, and the ED option can be used to exclude subdirectories that match the specified pattern. So I'll enter a command that validates a specific JSON file against a specific JSON schema file. I'll open the report in the browser. Note that the first problem is reported for a JSON file that contains a draft string. If I scroll down, you can see that the last reported issue is due to the fact that a schematron file was validated against a JSON schema file, which doesn't make much sense. So I'll use a similar command, but this time I'll include some filtering options. I'll use the IF option to only validate JSON files, the EF option to exclude the file with the draft string, and the ED option to exclude a particular subdirectory. I'll locate the report and open it in my browser, and if I compare this report side by side with the previous one, you see that this newer one has now filtered out some of the problems according to the filtering options I used in the script. This concludes this demonstration about the Validate script. Thank you for watching, and we welcome you to please subscribe to our various channels.